Good day everyone. You are welcome to Science Explained. Today, I want to answer some questions from the past questions of a university in Nigeria, an online university. That is National Open University of Nigeria. Is a course that is titled NTH 3H2. This was part of the examination question written by 300 level students of the National Open University of Nigeria. Now, I would like to pause the video here for you to have a try of this question. Please do that. I'll be back in a moment. Now, first and foremost, we need to understand that we have two different forms of gamma function and a beta function, which are written on the board. These are the two forms of a gamma function. And these are the two forms of a beta function. In order to prove the relationship between beta and gamma functions, we need this form of gamma and uh, we need this form of beta function. So, and also, we shall be employing the, the rules of uh, double integrals in solving this problem. So, let's go and start to prove the relationship between beta function and gamma function, as we are asked to show in the question. Let's see the expression for gamma of p using the second form of gamma function as I stated earlier on gamma of p will be equals to 2 integral 0 to infinity e to negative x square multiplied by x raised to power 2p minus 1 dx. So also in the same way, gamma of q will be 2 integral 0 to infinity e to negative x squared multiplied by x exponential 2p minus 1 dx. Now, Let's find the product of these two, which will bring up the issue of double integrals I talked about. Product of gamma p and the gamma q will be 2 integral 0 to infinity e to negative x squared x to 2p minus 1 dx multiplied by integral multiplied by 2 integral 0 to infinity e to negative x squared multiplied by x to 2q minus 1 dx. Bringing these two integrals together, 2 times 2 will give us 4. Then, 0 to infinity, integral 0 to infinity then, Excuse me. Integral 0 to infinity, another integral 0 to what? Infinity. Then let me bring the functions e to negative x squared. Okay. Alright. Excuse me. Let me use variable y for this. Since this is a for q. So I shouldn't use the same variable since p and q are different variables okay that means this one will be y square then d 
dy then this will be y all right so what i just did here is that uh, since i'm using variable x for gamma of p then i shouldn't use the same variable for gamma of q so now we now have e to exponential x squared multiplied by x to 2p minus 1 dx multiplied by e to exponential y squared times y to 2q minus 1 dy okay now we have to change one of these integrals to angle reason behind that is that do not forget that when you are proving beta function in the beta function we have sine theta and cos theta involved so that means we need to change them to polar form so we are going to change this to what polar form how do we change it to polar form by using the normal relationship which we all know Okay, this is zero and this is a 90 degree. So this is the first quadrant. And definitely, if I pick any point here, then it shows that from here to here is the radius of the circle. This is also radius of the circle. So if I pick any point here, and this is the angle, through which it has rotated, which is what? Theta. Then what does that mean? It means that from here, it means that from here now, if I drop this, so that means x will be equal to r cos theta, and uh, y will be equals to r sine what theta so we shall replace x and y with r cos theta and uh, r sine theta respectively also we need to differentiate x to r and theta so the x multiplied by dy we give us r the r the theta so this is the conversion of the cartesian form to polar form now going back to the last expression written that uh, gamma of p times gamma of q equals 4 integral 0 to infinity integral 0 to infinity double integrals e to negative x squared times x to the power 2p minus 1 dx times e to negative y squared times y raised to the power 2q minus 1 dy now if you look at this from 0 to 90, that means that the, in the Cartesian form, the limit is from 0 to infinity. And 0 to infinity is equivalent to 0 to pi over 2 on the polar form. 0 to infinity implies 0 to pi over 2 on the polar form all right so i'm going to substitute anywhere i see x i will replace with r cos theta anywhere i see y i will replace with uh, r sin theta so i will now have 4 integral 0 to infinity then e to negative Instead of writing x, that will be r cos theta raised to power 2 
times r cos theta raised to the power 2p minus 1 multiply by dx then multiply by e to negative instead of writing y i will write r sin theta raised to the power 2 times r sin theta raised to the power 2q minus 1 dy all right that would be four integral zero to infinity okay because of space let me clean up so i'm going to have gamma of p times gamma of q will now be equals to four integral zero to okay four integral zero to pi over two i have changed one of the integrals to limit to zero to pi over two as i stated there earlier on while the other one is from zero to infinity all right now so zero to infinity integral zero to pi over two then collecting the like times of e i will have e to negative r square cos square theta minus r square sine square theta because r cos theta to power 2 will be r square cos square theta r sine theta to power 2 will be r square sine square theta okay then the x so we're not writing the x okay I'll, I'll let me put the x and the y to the end of the whole so let me bring in the the remaining part which is r cos theta raised to the power 2p minus 1 so that will be r raised to the power 2p minus 1 times cos raised to the power 2p minus 1 theta okay then times r raised to power 2q minus 1 times sine raised to power 2q minus 1 theta then dx dy all right so have been able to replace all x and y except the x the y yet with theta and r it is time i split this up now by bringing in let me substitute for the x and the y as i already stated that recall that the x the y is the same thing in terms of polar the x the r will now become r the r the theta so i will use this to replace this in my next splitting so i'm going to have gamma of p times gamma of q equals 4 integral 0 to pi over 2 integral 0 to infinity then summing of this that will be e to negative r square into bracket cos square theta plus uh, sine square theta 
I've brought out the negative sign, so that is why we have plus inside. You know, minus times plus will give you minus back. Then, let me collect the, the light times of half. That will be half raised to power 2p minus 1 times half raised to power 2q minus 1. times cos e to power 2p minus 1 theta dot sine 2 sine e to power 2q minus 1 theta let's all write the x the y all right r the r the theta that we got from differentiating x equals to half cos theta and y equals to half sine theta. Okay, having done this, the next thing I'm going to do is that I will add up the power of half together. So if I add up the power of half together, this will give me 4 integral 0 to pi over 2 integral 0 to pi over 2 and uh, integral 0 to infinity e to minus r squared because cos square theta plus r square theta is 1 according to uh, the identity in trigonometry so this times this, since this, this is a common base, I'm going to add 2p minus 1 and 2q minus 1 together. That will give me. Okay, let me leave it. Let me leave it for now. Yes. Why do I want to leave it? Because I want to rearrange. So that this one, R, will also come in and follow this. So R raised to power 2P minus 1, R raised to power 2Q minus 1 times this R. Uh -huh. Then, cos 2P raised to power 2P minus 1 theta sine raised to power 2q minus 1 theta then dr d theta okay now it is time now for me to now combine these r's to become 1 so that will be 4 integral 0 to pi over 2 Integral of 0 to infinity e to negative r square, then r raised to power 2p plus 2q minus 1 minus 1, then plus 1 here because this is r raised to power 1. That will give me r raised to power 2p plus 2q minus 1. That is what I'm going to get because minus 1 minus 1, that's minus 2. Then minus 2 plus 1, that will give me minus 1. Then cos raised to power 2p minus 1 theta sine raised to power 2q minus 1 theta. Then dr the theta. Okay. I think we are getting up to almost the end of the, of the proof. So, next now, gamma of P times gamma of Q equals to, I'm going to split this integral into two now. One will be for theta, one will be for R. The one with pi over two, which is for polar form, will be for theta. While the one with zero to infinity will be for R. So I'm going to have... 2 integral 
zero to infinity that will be e to minus r square times r raised to power 2 is common to a and here that will be 2 into bracket p plus q minus 1 then dr which is this dr then multiply by 2 integral 0 to pi over 2 Okay, integral 0 to pi over 2, then that will be cos raised to power 2p minus 1 theta times sine raised to power 2q minus 1 theta d theta. Alright, now we are almost there. If you compare this, if you look at this, you will notice that it is similar to the second form of gamma. But since we have 2 into bracket p plus one, q minus 1, it shows that we are finding the gamma of I mean involving p and what? And q. As I rightly said that Comparing this with the second form of gamma, it shows that tell me we are dealing with the what? The gamma function involving P and Q. And since this is addition of P and what Q, it means this expression, this function is for gamma M plus N. That means gamma P times gamma Q will be equals to gamma 2 that will be gamma m plus n then times if you look at this one you will see that in the second form of a beta function for p and q and that will be beta P, comma what Q. So okay. So as I was saying that uh, this is the gamma function of gamma of sum of P and Q, and this is the beta function of P and Q. So what do we do? Since this is what we are proving, we divide both sides by gamma of P plus Q, gamma of P plus Q. And this cancel this, we have this one then. So beta of P comma Q, that is equals to gamma P times gamma Q divided by gamma of P plus Q. So that's the end of the proof. Now, this will be used to solve the second part of the question in my next video. Thank you for watching.